Hi guys, I'm Scripted Blocks, and this is how to make an NPC that will move around your map. To create a moving NPC, first of all, we will have to get our NPC. So, for simplicity, I'll only import a block rig. You can, of course, customize the NPC by inserting, having body colors, and inserting pants and shirt and accessories but I'm just gonna keep it with a rig. Then what we're gonna have to do is we'll insert a script which we will call animate. As we this dummy may already have an animate script but that is a local script so it will not function. We will transfer it to a server-sided script so that it works. So we'll just quickly drag all the objects on that was parented under the local script into the regular script then we'll open the local script control a control c then we'll go into the other script control a control v to paste all of it and then what we'll have to do we we'll, is we'll have to press control and then search for something like chat because then it will send us to here what we'll then do is we'll select the whole thing so yeah, in dead service players dot local player dot chat it so we'll select the whole thing and delete that we can also delete the comment because it will require this to be local script which it is not now that we have transferred to it we can completely remove the local script and then we have already made it so this npc is animated then what we're gonna do is whilst having this dummy Selected will press Ctrl G, which will parent this into another model, which we will call NPC1. We just do this so that in case we want to have multiple NPCs watching around, we only have to duplicate this model and change the waypoints we'll add. Into this model, we'll add a folder, which we will name Waypoints. In here, we will add a part and call it... The first one will be called 1. Then what we want to do is we want to scale it to only be one by one by one even though that is technically not essential now we can move this part to be wherever the npc will first try to go when we have entered it let's say if we want our npc to first go here then we can say okay we duplicate this part name it two to say that that is the second position and then we might move it over here then we will duplicate the part again and call it let's say number three and move it let's say here we could duplicate it again and again and again always remembering to name it the how many th part we want it to be where the npc goes and finally in the rig we want to insert one another script which we will call walk in here we're gonna make two variables local waypoints equals to strip dot parent dot parent dot waypoints this will just reference our waypoints folder and then we'll make one more variable local hum equals to strip dot parent dot humanoid which will reference the humanoid belonging to the character we'll then do a while true do this is basically just this will repeat forever and it won't wait except if we have inside what it will do await what we'll in here do is for i comma waypoint in pairs waypoint colon get children and in the end we'll have a do enter then two more lines Hum colon move to waypoint dot position. It is very important not to write waypoints because this these are multiple objects. We are talking about the waypoint because for item v just loops to the given table. It only works for tables, so behind the waypoints because that is a folder object. So an object we do dead children, so it gets all the descendants in here, and that. It, and has them in form of a table so it loops through them the object is is currently selected is waypoint and the how many object is i because we numbered them one to six because we have six waypoints in this case 
it will only go through them in the order we want them to go through. Then we do humanoid colon move to waypoint dot position because this object here is an object gotten from the descendants of waypoints and we use move to because that is a function of the humanoid. The last thing we have to do is hum dot move to finished colon wait so that it will wait until it finished moving then and then it will repeat this until it looped through all of these parts until six in our case and then it'll say okay and then the, the loop will say oh you're done okay let's start again so let's see if this works so if we run as we can see our character is able to watch to them the only problem he currently has is that our parts have to have can collide disabled because he was colliding with them and wasn't able to move and now as we can see he will just watch to every part and then he will go all the way to the last part and if he's done with there he'll go to the first part and this will continue forever now if you want your npc to wait a bit after having reached every a waypoint we will we can just here drop a line and say wait let's say for one second and as we can see this also works that he'll just wait one second after every waypoint now if we also want him to wait a st set amount of time after having reached all the waypoints and before starting again here we would have to insert let's say that he waits five seconds after having reached the final waypoint so let's see if that works Here he should wait 5 seconds, which he does and then he repeats his journey. Perfect! This was how to make an NPC that will go to waypoints. I'm Stripped of Blocks and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!